Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use a region of interest to boost the frame rates even further. This can be useful for many types of experiments. There's quite often you don't need to see the full field of view. You want to narrow in on a sub-region and get faster temporal resolution from that region. For example, if you're looking at a calcium spark. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to open up the main setup acquisition dialog once again. This is already set up for very fast full frame rates. We're looking at 56 frames per second there. It's within the 17 megahertz fastest readout speed again. So now we're going to click on the tab which lets you access the region of interest and binning combinations. So let's say we'll click on the 128 by 128 region of interest. That's just going to locate that very centrally for now. If we go back you can see the frame rate has already increased to about 209 frames per second because we're only reading out a smaller section of the chip and throwing the rest of the pixels away. So if we select that, go with the same 500 kinetic series and hit require once again. You can see that zipped through that 500 frames in no time at all, yet it's limited to a smaller region of interest in the center. Now there's one further trick um, which we can talk about to boost the frame rates even further and that is a mode called crop mode. So we click on this, a new tab appears. We can set this up again for a region of interest. I can define the height and the width. Now the region of interest by the nature of this mode means that it's tethered from the output corner. So you must place the interesting part of your image down at the bottom output corner. Um, but from this you can get quite amazing further boosts in frame rate from a region of interest. So if you go back to the setup camera, you can see the frame rate has now increased to almost 600 frames per second with the same 128 by 128 subarray. Now, there is a condition of using crop mode, which is that you have to optically shield off the part of the sensor that you're not interested in. So here's one such device which we offer, which is called the OptiMask, and this is geared towards microscopy in particular. Now this goes between <clears throat> the output of the microscope and the camera. Now here you will see a couple of simple blade adjusts. They're very, very smooth action. You can define physically the region of interest that you want to see. On the software you can run in live mode and, that, and you will see in real time the, the region of interest being, being resized as you adjust these blades. Then all you do is match that up within the software and away you go, hit the acquire button and you'll get the frame rates we just demonstrated.